Welcome Dolly friends. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch my video. If this is your first time here, my name is Dot and I am new in the last year or two to dolls, dolls houses, and miniatures. This is my infirmary and this is Miranda who has just completed a recovery here. There's lots of videos about the infirmary if you want to see more about how it's developing. Today, I'm going to show you how I made her crutch. I did a basic Google search of old crutch and found that they have a very simple construction. I laid the coffee stir sticks up next to Miranda to get a ballpark of the size and after soaking them in water, they were easy to bend just a little bit and I just kind of did a little finagling with some glue. I'm using wood glue here and my clamp. And I decided that that wasn't um, sturdy enough and that I used a little shim. I used another little piece to put a shim. This is for the hand grip. I suppose I could have used a toothpick to make it round. Maybe I'll do that when I do the second crutch. Um, but I think that looks pretty good. You see me putting the little shim there on the bottom. I just took a small little piece and bent it ever so slightly for the part that goes underneath the arm into the armpit. And I wrapped it in a piece of muslin that I had. I just kind of eyeballed it. I didn't really do any significant measuring for the fabric there. I noticed on the old crutches, there really wasn't any cushioning on the armpit piece like we have today. Of course, that made work much easier for me. I just put the seam on the underside. The wood glue didn't seem to be the best choice for this, so it took me a little bit of pinching and pressing and quite a bit of glue. After it dried, I took a little bit of um, dark brown paint and on my finger and just dipped it in water and just kind of smeared it around back and forth over that muslin, which of course absorbs the so-called dirt pretty easily. I was pretty impatient and I should have taken more time to let everything dry. It was fine. You can see how the dirt really made a difference there. And then I just had to attach it to the top Because I was impatient, my the side portions of the coffee stirs are a little tiny bit twisted. You don't really notice that. Once it was dry, I gave it just a light sand because there were some glue pieces on there because I want to stain it. I had found this old uh, stain pen when I was thrifting and I decided to try it. It looks like it's supposed to be a light color. I'm just trying it on a scrap stick here and it actually looks just fine. Maybe a couple coats of that will look good. It's starting to take shape and I'm really pleased with how it's looking, but it needs some dark spots. I thought I would try the rub and buff and since I don't really know my materials very well, it probably wasn't the best choice. I wanted something that would maybe give it a little bit of waxy shine as well and it didn't really do that. It actually becomes very dry, um, but it worked out for me. I also had an ink pen with a with a very fine brush tip and I use that as well, especially adding darker details near the armpit and the corners. And eventually I did quite a bit with the brush pen at the bottom of the crutch where it would be getting dirty. I didn't have anything that seemed appropriate to use for the little bottom piece, the little, um, you know, rubbery piece at the bottom that would touch the ground. And sometimes they didn't even have that, but I ended up just using a piece of modeling clay that seemed to be the right color. Um, you can see it down there. So it doesn't get hard or it just kind of stays like that. It may not be the best choice, but I think it looks pretty authentic. 
I'm really, really happy with the way this crutch turned out. To me, it looks like an old crutch. I'm using a cloth I have that has the tiniest bit of beeswax on it. I really wanted a little more waxy patina to add to it, but this will have to do for now. What do you think? Did you like the way it turned out? Should I make a second one? I think I will just to have on hand in the infirmary. Thank you so much for stopping by and leaving a comment and a thumbs up. Come back and visit me next time in the doll cupboard. Bye everyone.